Hi, my name is Anna and welcome to my channel. So today I decided to try a plant-based version of a Bahamian classic, macaroni and cheese. So if you have ever eaten macaroni in the Bahamas, it's a staple. That's something that Bahamians would eat on, that goes with Sunday dinner. No matter what you were cooking, macaroni and cheese needs to be on the list. And so, I haven't eaten macaroni and cheese for so long because I just couldn't deal with the plant-based or the vegan versions of it. And so, today I've decided to give it a good old college try. And so today I'll be making a Bahamian version of a vegan mac and cheese. And I'm kind of excited and I'm also kind of nervous. The suspense is there. Um, I found a few recipes online. Of course, it's not for the Bahamian version, but I can Bahamianize their version of it. And let's, let's give that a try. Now... The only thing I needed to get, because you know you put cream in the Bahamian version of macaroni and cheese. Um, I went to the store to get some almond milk, which they didn't have, but I remember I had some soaked cashews in the fridge. So I made cashew milk for the first time. So I'm excited to give that a try. And so... Let's go.
Okay, macaroni and cheese is done and it's time for the taste test. But before I do the taste test, um, you would have seen me put some cheese, the substance, <laughs> on top of the mac. That was some vegan cheese that I had in my fridge from Taco Night. <laughs> um, one thing I discovered about vegan cheese, it does not melt. Well, the ones that I buy in the Bahamas, that is. I haven't found a melting one as yet. And so what I, what I do with it is um, I would put it, put the cheese on top of whatever, whatever topping, and then I would pop it into the microwave for about a minute, covered, um, completely covered so that the cheese would melt. And so for the um, mac and macaroni, I did pretty much the same thing. I slipped it into the oven for maybe about five minutes. Look at it. Oh, that's some barbecue tofu I had left over from the other day. And so I put it in maybe for about um, five minutes, then I covered it for five minutes, then I uncovered it again for like two or three minutes and I took it out. So it bakes for like maybe 12, 13 minutes total. Then I, even after I took it out, I realized that it still had numb, um, the cheese hadn't melted. They said I like little bits that still needed to, to melt. So I covered it again while it cooled. Um, and it's been, it, this is totally cool because I had to leave the house for a few minutes to go and assist with the, um, Christ, the, the Andrus Christian Council, um, hurricane assistance here in central Andros. And so I went there for a while and then I came back home. So I'm dying of hunger and I'm excited to taste this. <laughs> it looks like macaroni. Like mama's macaroni <laughs> now let's see if it tastes like my mama's macaroni I've seen vegan macaroni and cheese I've seen it I've seen people do it but I don't never like um, I always have a problem <laughs> it's something the way it look but this one makes me want to taste it and so here we go Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this is delicious. This is delicioso. <laughs> this is really good. And I like ketchup on mine. And so this ketchup is like banging <laughs> on this. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Mm. And when I sauteed my vegetables, I still like a little bit of a crunch. And so I still have like a little bit of crunch from the celery and the onions. Mm. It is so good. It is just it's really good. This is, this is, this is, this is good. <laughs> so once again, I'd like to thank you for joining me and my, <laughs> and my exploits with food. I'm learning to enjoy food, enjoy different types of food. And I'm learning that it does not have to be cooked in an unhealthy way. So until next time, God bless. Thank you for watching.